Okay, so it's time to go ahead and start tuning feed forward, and I'm gonna start at 0.5, and then move up in increments of 0.1, and see where we get, and it'll become a little clearer when I take a look at uh, PID Toolbox and what we're doing. Now that I've done all those tuning flights, it's time to check out and see what this stick response slider does with the feed forward gains. So I ended up at 1.6 on this slider, um, but I started over here at 0.5. So it's the feed forward numbers there. And I started all the way down here and worked up to that 1.6. So I'm going to take a look at that. We're going to use PID Toolbox again, um, but uh, we don't have to trim anything because we can use this right here and look at feed forward. We're going to look at uh, the gyro data and the set point data. Now, I did come across some stuff where it was to either use PID Toolbox or I also saw a way that you can look at it in uh, black box explorer as well so real quick I'm just gonna show you that you can get the same thing either way doesn't matter what program you use um, so in PID toolbox if I just click I'm gonna look at the roll data here click on roll that'll zoom that in and you can click on this plus button and zoom in even more so let's see I'm at this 10 second mark and that'll be important for a reason here in a second. So I'm just kind of going between that 10 and 11 second mark. So that's what that looks like. There's 10 seconds. Um, and this is my first flight there with 0.5 on feed forward. And I've got that pulled up here in Black Box Explorer as well, that 0.5 log. So there's a lot of data here in this overview. Um, and again, this is the trace setups from uh, UAV Tech. So I'm just going to switch it over to roll details because that's what we were looking at. And look at, because we're looking at set point and not the scaled gyro, but just regular uh, gyro data. So if I click that, that pulls that up so it's a little easier to see. but. Um, what did I say? 10 seconds. So let me just change this to 10.0. So there's that 10.0 and we're looking at, let's see, set point was green and gyro was this purple. So that should look the same as that, that that's that peak. And we've got the same, same curves in PID Toolbox versus uh, Black Box Explorer. But this looks a little bit hard to read, so I'm gonna stick with PID Toolbox in looking at this data. So, feed forward or stick response. Um, and this is my, my understanding of it so far, is that We've got set point in red, so that's how you move the sticks. And there's a delay between what you do and then when the gyro responds. So it should be doing the same thing, following along. Now, feed forward attempts to get rid of that delay. So what, what I'm trying to find here is when these two lines are, are when they coincide. So they're both following the same trace. So right here, you can see red set point is ahead of the black line gyro. Uh, and I can even zoom in. Yep, you can even zoom in even, even more just by clicking on it. Uh, eventually, if you keep clicking, it goes back to that trace. All right, so that was my trace at 
Um, and if I unclick that plus and then just click on here, it goes back to my regular um, data here. You can look at both roll and pitch. Um, I'm not sure if there will be a difference. I think when I get to the end here, I want to just double check and make sure that both look good. Moving along, so that was um, the 0.5. Now, I'm going to just go up to 0.8 because I don't think there's any reason for me to go through every single one of these logs, at least not initially, because when I click on, let's see, this was 0.8, and I just like to pick a section where there's a lot of... Uh, a lot going on here, a lot of peaks, a lot of uh, sharp movements. That will help see this a little bit better. So uh, I can still see that the red, the set point, is still happening a little bit before the black. Um, this looks pretty close pro probably, but, they're, but over here, yeah, you can see red happening before black. Um, so. I'm going to try, let's go to 1.0 and see what happens here. So 1.0, let's zoom in again. The spot looks good enough. And red and black are pretty good. They look like they ride along with each other really well 1.0 is that default uh, this could be good but I did a whole bunch more tests um, let's try 1.2 and see what that looks like zooming in again uh, let's go let's see oops let's try that So red and black are pretty much riding on each other, and this looks pretty good to me too. There may be a little bit of, so you, what you don't want to have happen is this gyro showing up, info showing up before the set point. Um, so let me just, let's see, why don't I just go all the way up to 1.6 to show what that looks like. So, and even on this here, it might be a little bit hard to tell, but no, actually you can really kind of start to see that black line is before the red line. So the gyro's throwing got info before it's actually been input so let's see i looked at 1.2 1.4 is probably too much as well zoom in on that so yeah 1.4 is too much let's look at 1.3 it's probably too much as well. Oops. So if you start to do that, then just click back here and then zoom in. So 1.3, I think, I don't know if that's bad there, but that looks like some of this black lines doing stuff way before set point way before it's told so I'm gonna say that doesn't look good we were at 1.2 me zoom in a little bit more just by clicking on that and it's hard to tell because red looks like it's before most of the time then that little bit happens 
Um, right here, there's a little bit of that black line, but first, so the gyro is happening first. That was 1.2. So let's go back to 1.1. I'm going to guess 1.2 is maybe the edge of where I'd want to be. Uh, though I have heard that this stick, well, it's stick response, so that's kind of going to explain it, that it's kind of a feel thing, what you want the sticks to feel like. Uh, I've never really played with Feed4 before to know much difference, but um, it looks like I'm probably going to be around this one. This is 1.1 1 .1 right here. Red still a little bit before, kind of like they're bouncing back and forth with each other. And let's take one more look at 1.0. So I let's zoom in here. Red still a little bit before on some of this. I mean, you do get all of these little things here, and I think this is going to accidentally zoom in. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, so I think it looks like here that the 1.0 could be a little bit better. So I'm. At the moment, I'm leaning towards 1.1. 1 .1. Oops. There we go. So this is 1.1 again. And that looks like they're pretty much on top of each other. And just... Because I don't want to know what I'm doing. I'm going to look at 1.2 one more time. And 1.2 probably could be okay, but I do see a little bit of that gyro getting ahead of things. I mean, if you really want, you can zoom in super tight and see exactly what's going on. Let me just pick another spot on here. Um, right there is a little bit different for some reason. Um, I don't know, 1.2 could be fine. 1.2, 1.1. Um, so let's see, I did say I did want to look at roll, uh, sorry, that was roll, look at pitch as well to make sure that that is doing the same thing and there's no discrepancies between the two, which now that I look at it here, this is what, 1.2, it looks like maybe this needs more, more feed forward on pitch so what was 1.1 1 .1 on pitch yeah I mean they're pretty close uh, I mean I guess if I really wanted to I could forget about the slider and then start playing with some of these numbers individually between roll and pitch. Um, though it looked like 1.1 was pretty good. So I think I'm going to set it there. And that should do it for that stick response and feed forward.